to you and welcome to the program go on please thank you very much Nancy, jonathan can you hear me please the whole world is hearing you go on all right good evening good afternoon good morning and good night to you all great biafrans wherever you may be at its very hour my name is Mazi Pika Edozim. I come from Ihe Oma. Ihe Oma is in all the province of the African land. And by the grace of Elohim, merciful Chukokaba from I serve the great and wonderful people of Biafra in the Directorate of State as the head of Directorate. Once again, today I bring you greetings from the Supreme Leader of this great movement, Oyen Dumazin and the Kano. I bring you very warm greetings from him because you of course in respect of the incarceration, we are all in his prayers, we are all in his thoughts. And for that, I wish to encourage their hands again to continue to supplicate, trying to continue to commend our leader, Yendu Madhid and Khan, into the hand of Chukokabi Amadat, Okike may continue to be with him continuing to preserve, protect him, and of course, bring him out so that he may continue the work which Elohim has mandated him so that Biafra shall be a restored, sovereign, and independent nation on his command, of course. Tonight, there are one or two issues that I need to speak on very, very importantly. Very, very important, I hasten to say and add again. We have heard and it has come to our knowledge the statement that is credited to the mask wearer in Asher Rock, the person who claimed to be Muhammad Bukhari, when a man who calls himself a president of a country will come out and make such unguarded statements, then it is time for preference to be at a lot. It is time for us to be at a lot because we can read the handwritings on the wall. The imposter in Asherok said that IPOB worldwide are stockpiling weapons all over the zoo. And what? And I laughed. But after laughing, I, in, in, a, in, 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 a, in a reflection, I was like, wait a minute, something is going on here. 
And what is going on here is that I wish to alert dear friends at this moment that the way the way that countries have been initially accused of one crime or the other is always the precursor to attacking that country. And now what is in process of trying to do is to paint the Biafran people in a manner that will um, influence the views of the international community. What this imposter is trying to do is to justify his continued massacre of Judeo-Christians who are their friends and of course the people we call Indio Menal, those who worship the African and traditional religion or who follow the African the traditional religion. Of course, they they don't worship the religion, they worship Okike through the ways of our ancestors, through the ways of our fathers. That is what Biafra is made of. Biafra is a nation made up of Judeo Christians and of course the traditional religions. And all of us, all of us be whether it is uh, those practicing the Jewish faith, whether it is Christians and whether it is um, the Omenana people, the traditional religionists. We are all victims. We are all victims to the madness that is going on under the watch of the imposter in Asurok, who calls himself Muhammad Buhari. Of course, we know that Buhari is long gone, long gone. I believe by now, in fact, he is the, the Tamis have taken, they have fed, of course, well fed on his carcass. It is only his bones that remain. The people are still going around claiming to be Buhari. What happened to Buhari will happen to them. And Chukwu Abia Mash Abia Ross So what I'm trying to tell the African this night is for them to understand that for Buhari to come out or the impulse to come out to say that IPOB are stockpiling weapons all over the zoo. They are preparing the ground for their onslaught. They are preparing their ground for the onslaught upon the Christians, upon Biafran Christians. They are preparing their onslaught against the Jewish Biafrans that we have, those who are present Jewish faith. They are preparing their ground for the attack on those who follow our traditional way of worshiping to Kwabiyama. So all of us, it does not matter whether you belong, which religion you 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 worship to keep true with. You are in the view of the plans of the Fulani Caliphate to emasculate us first economically, which they have wonderfully done with all the politicians see nothing and hearing nothing they have they have economically emasculated us now their next line of action is the extermination of the biafran populace our race if you do not know know it today being the sixth day of september 2021 that the biafran race is not only in danger of extinction, the, there is a well made out plan to actually bring that to happen. And it is happening. So our people, you must be at a lot and you must be um, aware of your surroundings. Now, after saying that the Biafran 
people that the indigenous people of your france are stockpiling weapons all over the, the zoo and ask for what what weapon are we stockpiling for what purpose if i may ask but that is a question for another day but after all these unguarded statements this imposter this imposter who is holding the leader of the indigenous people of biafra incarceration in the dungeon of the dss this imposter who has spilled the blood of uncountable number of biafran youths this imposter who is actively supporting the terrorists full and men who are pillaging and of course destroying our farmlands raping and killing our mothers our daughters our wives and our sisters this imposter has the temerity the temerity the answer to say that he wants to come to biafra land specifically the supreme court administrator the man that has no shame he is there gallivanting that he is a governor what governor you, you, you need to be ashamed of yourself that you are you are you are in fact a quota a quota administrator not even a governor a quota because that is how they do it in the zoo uh, the, 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 our children will go to sit for examination and if they make 130 over 140 they may not even be uh, given an opportunity to go uh, to be admitted into into um, the unity schools the, the so called unity school they have in the zoo and but somebody who did not even sit for the exam or who, who actually have or just only um, appeared in the exam wrote his or her name at the end of the day they will be given the opportunity they will be given the chance above those who made actually the real um scores for uh, and who who are uh, for that matter who are uh, qualified to be admitted into these university schools but no that is the same person you have in 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 emo state as the as the administrator because he's his quota he comes from number four and then suddenly they catapult you to be number one that is why what is happening in our land is against not only against the land but against the spirit of our ancestors and we must not simply keep quiet and watch these people desecrate the holy land of biafra we will not keep quiet and watch these people decimate our 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 youth we will not keep quiet and watch these people spit and urinate upon the grave of millions that they have killed they have murdered because they are christian biafrans because they are jewish faith believing biafrans because they are those who worship elohim through our traditional ways we have it on good information we have it that the imposter in Asurok will be visiting Imo State on the 9th of September. That will be um, on Thursday. And we are telling him he is not welcome. Imposter that is ruling the zoo in the name of Muhammad Buhari, you are not welcome in Biafra land. You are not welcome in him state and we are making it very very clear to those the afghans in Imo state that this man must not um step his foot on the holy land of Biafra. and what i'm going to do i am specifically directing these to those who call themselves traditional custodians of our cultures and tradition 
those important steps in the exit. If you address yourself as Sonia in Inu State, make sure, make sure you do not show your face in any ceremony that is being organized by the quota system administrator in Inu State for the impostor in Asurok. If you are a PG, if you are a PG, that is President General of Pan Unions in Imo State, make sure that you do not show your face to any any ceremony that the administrate the Supreme Court administrator in Imo State will be organizing for the impostor in uh, in Asurok. Make sure you do not show your face on that day, and for the wild, um, for the generality of Biafrans, he will tell this man that land of Biafra belongs to us. The land of Biafra is the land of the ancients. The land of Biafra is our inheritance, and. Uh, Impost of Muhammad Buhari is not welcome in Biafra land. On this day, the 9th of September 2021, we shall lock down Biafra and the whole of Biafra land shall be locked down. The whole of Biafra land shall be locked down on the 9th of September 2021. We must show Buhari that he cannot arrest, he cannot kidnap, he cannot rendition our leader Oyendu Martin Amicano and keep him in, 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 in the dungeon on the ground, dungeon of the DSS, and then want to, cal to, to come to our land to laugh, to laugh at us and to urinate upon the, 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 the grave of the brave heroes who for the life that we eat this very day. 9th of September 2021 shall be and is hereby declared a sit at home day for the whole of Biafra land. And it shall be implemented. It shall be implemented. This and I'm, I'm making this that everybody to know now. Their friends must understand that this man has nothing, he has nothing that he's looking for in, in our land. If, if after this broadcast, because we are going to, to shut down the land on the 19th and they postpone this, their, their jamboree, we will also, the day that he will come, to Biafra land, to Imo State, we shall continue to lock down even, even any day that he comes to Biafra land. A day of Biafra land shall be the way we will declare a city at home. This man cannot come to our land and he is not welcome in our land. Therefore, I once again want to, you know, um, make it very, very, very clear to our our traditional custodians and those of them who are the president of the special Imo state mark you this day 6th of september 2021 do not show your face do not show your face even if they want to come the following day to uh, the a day before this program to come and be up uh, with their vehicles do not show your face on any event that is being held for the killer of our people, for the man who has arrested our leader, who is incarcerating him, who is not allowing our lawyers to visit him, we do not want to see him there for long. If you are part, if you try to become part of this, then, of course, you shall answer to the Biafra people. You shall answer to the Biafra people. The day of reckoning is gradually coming closer. And... The man, the uh, quota system uh, administrator in Imo State, 
the quota city manager in state who has gone to to Sokoto to be top man and who is who is making some noise that uh, he will uh, he will force our women to marry Fulani people. We are waiting for you. I tell you now, the day of reckoning shall come. You shall answer to the Biafran people, and on that day, nobody will be able to save you. There is something that I need to speak tonight as well, and it is a concern to the leadership of IPOB. And that is this. We have suspended the, more, the weekly sit at home the initial announcement of weekly monthly sit at home by IPOB leadership we have suspended it why am i saying this tonight i am saying this tonight because the reports that we are receiving that people are, are destroying properties of biafrans um, in the name of enforcing um, the seats at uh, the Monday sit at home, these are not IPOB people. These are not IPOB family members. These are not ESN. We have not sent anybody to enforce the Monday weekly sit at home. We have not sent anybody. Therefore, anybody who is um destroying property that belong to Biafrans. you are on your own and if the people decide to do anything to you you are on your own ipob cannot and has nothing to do with that i want to make this very clear and i have like i said we shall be informing Gaga france of the actions that that we have lined up and some of these actions may be like the one that we are going to have um on 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 the night of, of of this month being thursday some of these actions may be as situations develop we will of course do what is needed to be done and that is the reason why we are sitting here this night and i'm saying this night that Muhammad, the impostor in the name of Muhammad buhari is not welcome in Imo state he is not welcome in Biafra land, and he better stay away from Biafra land. But Biafrans know how to deal with such people like you. Therefore, on the night, the day you will come, you will see it. Even if you come, you will see that Biafrans have rejected any, everything that has to do with the zoo. We have rejected the zoo a million times more than a hundred years back ago and we will continue to reject it until we have established our sovereign and independent Biafra nation what i have said about people who are going about destroying people's property Biafrans must take note of this because that nobody we know the hands the hands of the enemy who are working to find a way to stigmatize up your leadership they are looking for a way to um to dent the image of this hallowed movement that only the martin and the kind of put together people enemies are trying to hard to dent our image but we cannot sit back we cannot fold our hands and allow them to destroy what we have built with sweat and blood. Every forbid our ancestors forbid it to the land of forbid. We are still we are still reading the Psalms, great Biafra. We are still reading the Psalms. And today is the 99th day of our Psalms reading. As our leader has each and every one of us in his prayers and thoughts, so also I am asking each and every one of us to continue in the reading of the Psalms because it is drawing closer. It is drawing closer and 
heaven shall be a witness that we did what is commanded of us. And our children and children's children, they shall tell the stories in the years to come that these people, they came and Chupacabiana was with them and Chupacabiana is not. And victory for us is a certain outcome to this struggle which we have embarked upon. I am also this evening reiterating and once again telling every principal officer if you are IPUB principal servant don't let yourself be deceived don't let yourself be deceived i it is my desire that all of you who have worked tenaciously it is my hope that all of you principal servants and non principal servants alike who have who have contributed your time energy ideas and means in this struggle it is my hope that all of you who have assiduously committed to be loyal to this to the leader of this great movement in the Mazen that you do not allow yourself to be deceived by anyone there is no coordinator no coordinator who shall or who will take instructions if not from a coordinator of a rank of a higher rank i am repeating this because by the time you will see yourself in a difficult situation and sanctions are beginning to be implemented don't say that you were not wrong don't say that you did not know i have said it before i am repeating it again if you still have your loyalty to Onyendo, the leader of this movement who is in charge of this very great movement if you are loyal to him you must follow others if you're not loyal to him that is fine that is your cup of tea that is your prerogative but you must step aside step aside from using IPOB as a cover step aside from um answering a, a, a principal officer in IPOB and you are at the liberty to pursue Biafra the way you desire, the way you wish, the way you want, the way you know how to. And of course, we will support you all happy day. But under indigenous people of Biafra, if you are within this great family, if you are part of this great family, you must follow instructions, you must obey directives, and you must carry out your duty as you are expected to carry them out because you are serving the beer from people and we do not have time um for gossips that is going on every everywhere on social media that is not where you get your information if anything is not clear to you as a principal servant ask your next level um superior ask your next level superior in the coordination um, um hierarchy and they will give you the answer that you require. But if you feed yourself with junk, and then you begin to go to your um, to your forums to disseminate disseminate these junks, you are not doing yourself any good, and you are not doing the people who are under you any good service at all. And we will not, we will not let you continue to deceive any of them. Therefore, I will not. Um, I will not, uh, you know, um, say exactly um, what will follow, but I am hoping that tonight and on this day, all of us will take um, advise ourselves properly. That all of us will advise ourselves properly. Wonderful and hard-working Biafrans. I commend all of you for your tenacity so far. 
I commend all of you for your commitment. In fact, I commend many of you for your words of encouragement. Many of you have, have given us your words of encouragement as, as we face this difficult time together. I want to let you know that those words of encouragement, those prayers that you have been praying for us, they are really, really coming handy for us. And I wish to ask you to continue in that path because our objective is before us. And we all know that that our objective, that immediate objective that we have today at this moment uh, is that Oyendu, our leader, must be released unconditionally. Oyendu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, must be released sooner than later so that he shall continue on the path to the restoration of the kingdom of Chukwabiyama on earth. Biafra for us is not just a name. Biafra is our identity. Biafra is our heritage. And of course, Biafra is a religion to most of us. And it is only Chukwu Kikabiyama who alone is worthy of praise and worship Elohim, the Almighty Creator. It is only to Him that we bow down our heads and uh, unto Him we kneel and bow our knees. Into His hand I commit our leader in the Mazenam the Kanu. May Chukwabiyama hasten that he will rejoin us sooner than later. May Chukwabiyama strengthen him. May Chukwabiyama cover him under his protective wings and grant him wisdom as he granted Solomon. And upon all of us who are standing in for him at this very moment, I also ask Chukwabiyama to grant us wisdom to do what is right. I ask Chukwoki to grant us wisdom to walk in truth and in all honesty according to the oath we have taken for this truck. And I ask Chukwoki to guide our feet properly and lighten our hearts that we may lead the Biafran people in all truth, in all honesty towards the restoration of our sovereign nation, Biafra. I wish to say for me, from here, thank you, great Biafrans, and good night to all of you. Thank you. Hey, I'm